today's video should not actually be a haul. Instead, it should be a skincare review of the brand Kopari. I've told some of you guys it was coming, some of you had asked for it, and I frankly feel very guilty for the fact that it is not today's video. I have an excuse, but I feel really wishy-washy even then, so I guess I'll do this in the format of an apology video. <laughs> Eradate my skincare routine. No, that's an old format. I want you to know it is not my fault and the rat has been fired. No. Hi sisters, today's video should be a Copare review, however it is not and I have the receipts as to why. Uh, yeah, I really wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. But rat ate my skincare routine. So, we've had to delay that and I had to go and repurchase some skincare. But it will be coming, I think you guys will be really interested in it. It's, it's a very love-hate, very love-hate relationship. Thankfully, you guys said you wanted to see a 4,000 points Ulta haul, and that is what I did. I didn't actually know you would want to see it, so I kind of have already started getting into some of these products, so we'll start with those. Although I do want to, before we do the Ulta stuff, I do want to tell you about Alter Ego's new palette. I came home to this, so I have only, like, I've just started using this, but it is what I'm using, or what I have on my eyes today. You guys, this is the Daydream palette. You guys recognize what this is duping? Oh my gosh, they've gone and duped the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. New Nudes? New Nudes. Rural Juror. Again, I don't want to do a review on it just yet since I did just start using it, but $18. They did give me a code. It's Alice10. Not an affiliate code, but you can use it for 10% off. Okay, let's get into this 4,000 points Alta haul. Just so we're all clear as to why I have so much guilt, it's because I don't typically do a lot of hauls on my channel. You know, it's Alice in the Rabbit Hole, not Alice's Excess Consumption Corner, aka, ugh. Uh, and this is really out of character for me. I've actually never done a 4,000 points Alta haul before. I just got really tired of hoarding my points. And I got a lot of gifts in here, so I'll be sharing all that too. But let me go ahead and start with what I've been using. So I was truly looking for a kind of foundation product that would be really light coverage. And I saw this Nudies Tinted Blur Stick from Nude Sticks. I thought I would go ahead and give this a try. I am wearing this today, and I do like it. But I really got a comment on how little there is. I'm not sure I would have bought this if I hadn't been in such an add to cart mode. Uh, because it's $30 and you, you get 0.216 ounces. What is this, a foundation for ants? But in fairness, that's the way these kind of products go, although it's still a very small amount of product. Very nice on, I just, ooh, I don't, I don't know you guys. That is, that's tiny, ah. Ow. I mean, it is a nice product. I do, it did give me what I was looking for, which again, it's summer. I feel like, why would I be wearing full coverage in the middle of summer? I wanted something super light. It's giving me that, but it's not gonna last. It's a real small amount of product. Did I just eat my hair? I can't turn off the fans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are definitely in that hot point of summer. So I also repurchased the Dip Brow from Anastasia. I, I can't believe I finished one. I. I I mean, I can, but I can't at the same time. I thought I would get the taupe one instead of blonde this time, and I do like it a lot more. I've been thinking more about this lately. I think that there's a lot of warm-toned brow colors, and I don't think I prefer that. I really think that cooler-toned brow products kind of look better. And it's a little ironic because warm-toned eyeshadows have been trending for years now, and they look great on people, but I, I yeah, I, I, this looks better than the blonde on. And then this, the Revolution Rachel Leary Goddess on the Go eyeshadow or face and shadow palette. So this was $15. I wanted to give Revolution another chance even though I haven't always loved their eyeshadows. Uh, so I've been playing around with this and what I'm gonna tell you is it's very Makeup Revolution. These mattes, which you get one, two, three, four, five of, are incredible. They're really, really, really good quality mattes. Blend out. I actually think this might act be an improvement from the last mattes. It, they're incredible. Uh, the shimmers are weak. They always are in Makeup Revolution products. And then the face products always blend out a lot. I am wearing this Get It Pop in highlighter. I think it's beautiful. Um, I used these two, but I mean, this blush, considering how intense it looked, 
yeah, look at that. You would think that you wouldn't want to apply that to your face, right? But all of their face products just blend out so much. So it's actually, it's actually really nice. I gotta say, it's better than the Emily Noel palette, and I kind of, I feel bad saying that, but it just is. I think that Makeup Revolution maybe took some of the feedback from that, meaning they made these big enough that you can actually get your brush in. So again, if you're looking for a really, really cheap all-in-one palette, this is actually nice. It's just that these shimmers Makeup Revolution's shimmers are just not that intense. It's it's good in a blush, it's maybe not that great in an eyeshadow unless you're not looking for intensity. Do you guys remember my video talking about the Vitamin C Beauty brand? Well, I went and got some of their products. I really wanted to see if these were gonna be really scented or not. They're heavily scented, but we have been trying out the Seaweed Rosehip Oil Gel Facial Cleanser and it's going quite well. Definitely very scented, but it works okay for me in products that you wash off. Kind of same deal with the Sea Salt Coconut. This is the Gentle and Brightening Face Scrub. It is made with sea salt, so it's not too harsh. Still something I wouldn't use every day. I love the smell of this. And then the Sea Lavender Chamomile Overnight Hydration Sleep Mask. This is 8.5 ounces for this. It, that's an incredible price if your skin is not that sensitive. It's definitely scented, it's scented. If you are typically able to handle scents, you may be able to use this, but if not, yeah, it's pretty heavily scented. And then one more, I also got the Sea Kale and Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Skin Serum. I mean, these, were, these are just all so dirt cheap, especially for the sizes. I think this one has the least scent to, whoa, this one has the least scent to it, but it is still, still scented. Okay, so I said I was having trouble resisting the Too Faced Pineapple Glow Mask. Uh, needless to say, when it went 40% off, I had a lot of trouble resisting it, and I got it, as well as a whole bunch of other Tutti Frutti stuff. So, I did already talk about this, I did grab it. I think it's, I think the direction that Too Faced is going in with their skincare is fascinating, but I think they should drop off a little bit of the excessness. Okay, so I think it's a really nice mask, but I think that the glittery particles are not necessary. And I think that it actually ends up detracting from taking them a little more seriously as a skincare brand. And it's a shame because I actually did try this and I actually do like it, but it's hard to not feel like it's silly. I, you know, of course, like glitter, well, I've got glitter in my eyelids today. I'm not complaining about glitter, but in skincare. But yeah, I do like it. It does definitely have that pineapple scent, which I think they should leave out as well. But I'm interested in the direction Too Faced is going in. I think that their newer skincare collection is a lot more what I think they should have done from the start. We're gonna talk about that soon. Let's save that for another day. I've got a couple more kind of mixed makeup products. I did wanna grab the Tutti Frutti It's Bananas Brightening Setting Powder. And again, all this stuff was 40% off. I just, I couldn't resist. Well, I don't like the smell of this one at all, but it's so cute. It's got bananas in it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to use this. Next up, this is probably my favorite item in this entire haul video because it's absolutely phenomenal. This is the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. Okay, if you guys have had problems with your setting sprays misting too much, just too much water on your face and it's disrupting your makeup, this is the one for you. I've tried a lot of mists in my life and I've never tried one that is as fine as this one. It's amazing, it's incredible, good job Too Faced, wow. And then I also got the Revolution Glow, Revolution Prime Set Glow Illuminating Face and Body Spray. Let's spray this. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. This actually should have been in that intro because I've tried this a couple of times now. I don't, it's kind of, Sticky on? I don't know, give me a while to decide on that because I really, I just haven't decided. And finally, palettes and highlighters. Why I bought so much from these two categories, I don't know. It's like I gave in to my primal instincts. I did get the new Triple Scoop Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette from Too Faced. All right. Oh, these are all so pretty, and they're, they're that really dense color that just completely transfers off, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, oh, 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 I'm so glad I got this. That is so pretty. 
Oh, this is for a giveaway, the Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer Highlighter. So let me set that aside. I also got another Ofra highlighter. This is the shade Space Baby from Nikki Tutorial. Whoa! Oh my gosh. I don't know how Ofra does it, but they managed to have some of the most intense highlighters. That looks gorgeous. So I ended up grabbing another of the Too Faced Tutti Frutti palette. Look at how rich that is. Oh, I wanted to say something about the Too Faced Tutti Frutti palette. So I saw somebody saying that they don't like Too Faced formula for eyeshadow. I agree, I got rid of all of my original chocolate bar palettes except for semi-sweet because I don't love the formula. But this is something completely different in these. It's, it's much softer. I thought I would grab this also. It's only $15. I have not tried this yet, but if you want a review, please let me know. I love the different shades you get for contouring. Perfectly done, phenomenally done here. You get a light beige color all the way to a deeper color that actually looks like it would be deep enough for deeper skin tones, I think. I'm not the best judge on that, but that looks like it'll match me. So this is the contour shades in this palette. Do you see how it's kind of uh, powdery? The reason why I actually really, really like Revolution's contour products is because of that. They blend out really nicely. Let's swatch these highlighters as well. Not bad, not bad. I do think they've stepped up their highlighter game. The, uh, the previous contour palette that I had, the highlighters are a little weak. This looks nice. And then last, but certainly not least, I got the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis 19 color shadow and highlighter palette. So you know I love BH Cosmetics. This palette looks so incredibly stunning. It just looks so beautiful. They've got all these shimmers in it. You get a good amount of mattes. That's a brilliant idea. And look at how shiny all these are. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I actually don't want to end the video just yet because I got a really interesting PR package yesterday. So these are unisex colognes from the brand Good Chemistry. And the reason I got excited about these, two reasons. One, they're $13 for a rollerball. At Target, that's an incredible price in the first place. And they kind of seemed, to me at least, like they were going for dupes of Replica, which is a pretty pricey brand that I do love. I really do, but they're expensive. You know, they've got names like Rustic Woods. We've got uh, Mineral Desert. I am gonna tell you that some of these smell a little more masculine than others. And in fact, this one right here, Silver Coast, I thought this would be my favorite because I typically like the more beachy scents. This I would recommend as a man's scent. Probably not for most women. I think some of us might like it, but in general, it, it really smells like men's cologne to me. Whereas the other three, I think women can pull off. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys, for $13, I was not expecting to think these are as unique as they are, to experience them lasting as long as they did. You know, I feel like that's what you pay for when you spend a hundred plus dollars on a fragrance. You pay for longevity and you pay for uniqueness, but these stand out. So at the very least, if you're in a Target, I would definitely recommend smelling these. I think they're amazing. So that's my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be doing some skincare videos eventually, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.